Hi, everybody, and welcome back to SOC 101, or everything you wanted to know about a computer but were afraid to ask. I'm Professor Adam Tiemann of the Enix Labs at Bar Ilan University. And now we're going to have a kind of a bonus presentation, something that came up within recent months based on personal experience, and I decided to make a lecture about it. It's all about ramping up and debugging a chip. A better way to call it is Lupulus, a debug story. So let's start with a little intro to our chip called Lupulus. So here's some background. Um, at Enix Labs, we made this SOC platform as part of the GenPro Consortium. It, we were mandated with developing the Israeli RISC-V core. In the framework of this consortium, we developed Hamsa DI, which is a superscalar version of the popular RISC-E core, which was the result of the project. Hamsa DI is delivered as part of Pulpenix, a full SOC platform that's based on the Pulpino platform, also taken from the Pulp project at ETH Zurich and University of Bologna. Pulpenix and Hamsa had already been fabricated on three test chips in 65 nanometer, 16 nanometer FinFET. So we have Leo 1 over here, Leo 2 over here, and in the middle here we have Sansa, which was the flagship of the GenPro consortium. In 2002, we put out another chip, Bianca, a 16 nanometer test chip based on the Pulpenix SOC platform. As a follow-up to Bianca, we decided on a second tape out and that was sent for fabrication in 2023. This tape out included improvements to the test structures on the chip. We called it Lupulus. Lupulus was based on the same top level design as Bianca, which includes a pop uh, Pulpenix SOC platform with the Hamsa DI as the host, Pulp GCC compliant software stack with Pulpenix bare metal libraries, the same 144 pin PGA package with almost identical pinout, and it's compatible with the same board with minimal modification. This was supposed to make it really easy to take the Bianca chip out of the board, stick the Lupulus chip in the board, and start using it right on the spot. The test chip was delivered and bonded in October 2023. Here we can see a uh, final GDS layout type of the, uh, of the chip. We can see here a picture of the die without a cover on it. And here's a microscopic picture of the, the chip inside. So what's next? We did some great R&D. We made something really, really innovative. But how do we make sure that it actually works? How do we test it? How do we make measurements? How do we create you know, really nice plots? Well, the best way is usually to integrate your block inside a control platform. That's an SOC, the stuff we've been learning about in these lectures. So let's remember what an SOC is. It was a long time ago when we talked about that. And let's see how it can help us before we continue. So back to our early SOC 101 lectures. A basic SOC will probably contain something like the following. An embedded controller, you know, a CPU, and that can run a high-level language code, you know, C some tightly coupled memories for storing program and code, uh, code and data. So we have our instruction memory and our data memory that are be, going to be connected to our embedded controller in our Harvard architecture. We're going to have a bunch of peripherals for communicating with the outside world, things like UART, I2C, general purpose IOs, SPY, JTAG, that type of stuff. We're going to have a system bus so we can connect everything together, so everything can communicate. And when we have our additional components, all kinds of accelerators or just test blocks or whatever we want to have, we'll connect them to the system uh, bus so we can communicate with them as well. And all of these different components are going to be memory mapped. So they all have predefined address spaces so we can use simple read and write commands in order to access them. So this is what our SOC looks like. This is Lupulus. What you can see here is basically the Pulpino type of configuration where we have our host. In this case, it's the Hamsa DI core, which again is a, a based on the RISC-E core. It's connected to the instruction memory and the data memory in a tightly coupled configuration. This is the core region of the chip. That's connected to an AXI interconnect, which has a bridge to an APB interconnect. This is kind of for the high speed stuff. So we have all kinds of um, uh, arrays on there, some memory arrays that are uh, used for test. And then we have our different peripherals over here. So we have UART and a SPY master here, a GPIO, I2C, um, different types of control and timers, MMSPI, and different type of clocking and stuff like that. So our basically, our Lupulus SOC is very similar to our classic type of SOC that we discussed before. 